I'm an addict for Snickers. So I just got these Yeezys sent to me, a gift from sneakergarage.com. They hit me up. I asked them at first, are you sure they're legit? They said, yes, we only deal with legit shoes. We're from Israel. I said, oh, that's pretty cool, Israel. You know, I love dealing with people from all over the world. So I said, yeah, shoot them my way. What do we got to lose, right? Let's check them out. So they said they're legit. They sent them to me. And I went to my P.O. box and look at this, man. I mean, I know a lot of people would have a heart attack right off the bat seeing this. They literally shipped it in the Yeezy box with the label on top. The box is in pretty nice condition though, which I'm shocked about. You would think that the box would be completely trashed, right? I just am um, shocked that they sent me free Yeezys. I got these and they said they're legit. I asked them. You gotta question them. Someone's gonna give you free Yeezys and they sell sneakers. You gotta question them. I went on the site. They don't sell like early shoes. So that was a plus. So here's the shoe. I never owned the V2s before. Let me know about this. Let me know what you guys think of these shoes. Are they legit? Let me know in the comments. Show the boost. Because, you know, I, I mean... They can't get mad at me for questioning it. And I told them I'm not gonna coast on their site. Until I get some confirmation that everything's legit, and then of course I will. I do give people the benefit of the doubt though. But I know there's people that are watching that are professionals when it comes to this Yeezy game. I'm not, I wish I was. I, I wish I was a Yeezy expert, we'll say. But I just don't own many Yeezy, so I can't, you know, identify what's legit and what isn't. And I'm not going to front like I'm the sneaker know-it-all. I know a lot about sneakers, but certain sneakers like Jordan, stuff like that. But when it comes to Yeezys, as I said, I, I do not own many Yeezys. Like, I do not own many Yeezys. Jordans, I got Jordans for days. LeBrons. But Yeezys, I'm light with the Yeezys. And I own literally zero pairs of V2s. This is the only V2 that I got in my sneaker room. And I'm hoping they're legit. I do hope they're legit. I just want to give you guys a close-up look. To help me out. To identify. Are these legit or not? And I really want them to be legit. Because I want to wear them. I really want to wear them. Let me feel the boost. It feels like boost though. It, it has a response when I push down. Definitely has a response when I push down. Uh, the tag. Let's see, there's the tag. I'm trying to get in there. There's the tag. Press pause. Let me know. Let me take the insole out too. There's the insole out. I really hope these are legit. Make sure to leave your comments. If you know anyone that's like a know-it-all when it comes to Yeezys, please share this video and tag them in this video so I can get help with this. No offense, Sneaker Garage. I just got to make sure they're legit first. Then after that, I could co-sign you. Say you're legit. But till I get some actual proof, because there's so many fakes out there, and I can't tell real from fake with the Yeezys. So you can't even get upset with me. See, that is, like, weird to me. It says A grade. Like, that makes me nervous. But, you know... I don't know a lot about these Yeezys. Show me some Jordan 6s. I'll tell you all about them. <laughs> Any colorway. I wish it wasn't so difficult for me to get these shoes. If someone from Adidas is watching, you know, it's sad that I have to go through all this just to make sure that they're legit. I miss those days when I didn't have to deal with this kind of stuff. Because I have a lot of people that work for Adidas that watch my videos. You know, it's sad 
that I have to do this. I have to ask the world if these are legit or not. I miss those days, those good old days. When I didn't have to worry about getting my Adidas. You know, I got plenty of Adidas here. Focus. Once they went to the Boost era, it's a whole new game now with me. I can't get them no more, sadly. Just stitching by the toe. To me, they look legit. And for any haters out there that are going to be like, Oh, they're fake devils, you can't tell. For some reason, if they are, as I said, I want to give the benefit of the doubt, but if they are fake, I'm telling people right now, I am not a professional when it comes to ID and these Yeezys. Okay? And I'm only human. And I'm not saying they're legit. I want them to be legit. They came from somewhere that say that they are legit. And they're from Israel. Keep this in mind too. This is not from America. This is not in the U.S. See like, see the writing right there? Importer. Look up top over there. Let's also look inside. I just realized. That's what it looks like with the insole out. I really want those zebras. There's a big restock on the zebras. I hope I can get my hands on a pair of those. It's unbelievable how I have no luck with any of these V2s. There's so many of them I want. I really want any of them, you know? This one is dope, though. I mean, even if it's not legit, it's pretty damn close to it, man. I've, I've held them in my hand, the V2s, at sneaker shows. And... They look legit to me, but as I keep saying, just to make it clear, I am no Yeezy expert, and we all know that the replicas look so close to the actual authentics. I mean, they look exactly the same to a lot of us. So that's the whole reason why I have this whole spiel going on, just asking you guys for some help with this situation. Situation. And I think it's just easy for people to replicate this shoe just because, I hope that's the right word, replicate. If not, I apologize. But it's, it's such a simple shoe, you know, it's a knitted upper, little strap on the back, and then just this. It's, there's not many pieces to the shoe, so that's why it's so easy for people to do the knockoffs. But they do look legit, man. They look good. The upper, this knit upper, it's really nice. It's like really, really nice, the knit upper. I love the first ones that came out with that red hit. It was like a bright hit. Those I really want bad, too. Those are sweet. I also got the new sneaker attic t-shirt guys they do ship worldwide and fit true to size i'm gonna put that information in the description box below we have different colorways different designs and if you have any ideas for designs i am definitely looking for suggestions any artwork hit me up on my twitter that will be in the description box below let me know what you think of this situation. Let me know what you think of getting a pair of shoes like this sent. Not boxing the actual shoe and box, but actually shipping them out like this. Especially a pair of Yeezys. Like, let me know your whole thoughts on that. For me, I'm not the craziest guy when it comes to boxes, especially something like this. But for a shoe that's so expensive, they should be double boxing it, you know. Regardless, I didn't pay for these. But, um, you know, it's like... Um, it's just the right thing to do. You're not supposed to shit shoes like this. You're not supposed to. It's a big no-no. Big no-no. Leave your comments. I hope you got entertained by this video. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this video. And leave your comments. Let me know what you think of these. I've never owned a pair of these. Nika Garage, you can't get mad at me for questioning if they're legit or not. Then if they are legit, which I'm hoping they are, I appreciate it. But thanks for tuning in. Cop the new t-shirt. Link in the bio. And we out.
Hey, what's up? This is your girl Rihanna with my homeboy DJ Dells. DJ Dells, you know I love you. Um, and my name is sit on your favorite DJ space. So, um, you know, when you in town, holla at the girl, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewinsky. Let's go.